Yay, Sharpies! Even though they smell really bad, but they don't smell that bad because you don't use a lot of ink in this. Welcome back to So Craftastic. Today we are making Sharpie bookmarks. Watercolor, quote unquote, but you actually are going to be using rubbing alcohol instead of water because water will not budge the permanent marker ink. If you're new here, please click the red subscribe button below to join the family and also click the bell button, which will let you know every single time I post a video, it'll send you a notification. If you enjoy reading, pretty please give this video a thumbs up. I am currently reading Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I'm on chapter four. It's pretty good so far. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys are reading currently or what your favorite book is. Now, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Step one is to gather all your favorite colors of Sharpie markers, and if you have a cat, don't let him get them. Don't let him steal them from you because my Leo does that all the time. Next, you'll want some watercolor paper. You could probably use a thinner one if you want, but I enjoy working with a thicker paper. You could even try cardstock. One sheet is going to go a long way, so you can get quite a few bookmarks on one. Here you can see that I already drew a shape on mine, just kind of a curved line with a swirl on top. And after cutting it out, I grabbed a bottle of rubbing alcohol, aka isopropyl alcohol. I got mine from Target. It wasn't very expensive and it lasts a long time. Then what I did is I put a paper bag down on my work area so I don't get Sharpie all over my desk. And of course you can see me drawing on this piece of plastic here. For this first watercolor method, quote unquote, again, we're not using water, we're using rubbing alcohol because water wouldn't actually disperse the ink at all. Permanent markers that are alcohol-based are not going to be affected by water. I'm putting a few drips of the rubbing alcohol onto the blob of ink here. And I actually learned this method from Bailey. Bailey J, she recently posted a Sharpie challenge drawing video on her channel. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to paint with Sharpies. So thank you for opening my eyes to this technique. This is really easy. All you're going to do is put down as many colors as you want. And I would suggest only working with a few colors at a time because the alcohol does tend to evaporate slash dry very quickly as in a few minutes. So you don't want to work with too many at a time and have to keep re-wetting them. All I'm doing, as you can see, is just painting with a paintbrush and putting it on the bookmark. You can do any design that you want. I'm doing kind of a galaxy sky effect. So I'm going from the lighter colors, pink and purple, to the light blue, and then getting a little bit darker with a regular blue and a black. If you really, really work at it, you could probably build up the shades a little bit more than I did here. But if you do want to do a darker area, just let the first color dry and then go back over it a few times to build it up and make it darker. That's what I did with the black here on the curved edge. After letting all that dry, I went in with a white gel pen and made some diamond shapes for stars and also dots. The second bookmark I'm gonna show you is a magnetic one, and it is in the current book that I'm reading, as I mentioned, Miss Peregrine's. I purchased this little pineapple guy from Target. It came in a pack of four. To begin, I drew a pretty little rainbow. You can draw any design that you want. I extended a rectangle on that, so when you cut it out, you can fold it over. To create the paint, do the exact same thing I showed you earlier. Put a few drops of rubbing alcohol onto the ink, and use a really tiny brush for detail so you don't go out of the lines. I'm doing a pastel rainbow that has pink instead of red to make it look a little bit more cute. And after I cut it out, I also made a paint with the metallic silver Sharpie and just painted around. Then I decided to give it some black outlines with a very thin micron pen and it also colored in the top part with a black Sharpie. After it's folded in half, grab a couple pieces of magnet that are the exact same size and it will be even more helpful if they're already adhesive. You want to make sure that they're thick enough because if you use the thin one like I tried to do here, then you'll have to take it off and use a thicker one. The force is not strong enough to go between a page even with this little magnet. So you can see that I made it a little bit thicker. I know it's probably not for all 
all of you if you're really really worried about your books but I will tell you that I've been using mine for a few months and it hasn't ruined the book pages at all. Not that I notice anyway. Bookmark number three I cut in the shape of a heart and I am putting sharpie dots all over this in various colors. This one's going to be using a different method from the first two bookmarks. It's actually pretty similar to my sharpie watercolor painting video that I did a year or two years ago. I'll link that down below if you haven't seen it but I did canvas art with sharpie and alcohol and they turned out really really fun. In the intro some of them are hanging behind me on the wall. After putting on all the dots you probably guessed it grab your dropper and drip some rubbing alcohol onto various areas of the heart and I like to put it on every single dot. For the bigger dots I usually put two drips and the smaller ones I put one, just depends. And it also depends on the color that you're using, which I'll show you in a minute. But after you finish doing that, and don't put too much on or it will spread all over and then you won't see any white, I guess that's up to you, whatever effect you want to achieve. But I like to put a little bit less than I need um, or think that I need so I can kind of drag the colors around a little bit with the dropper. This one takes at least a half hour to dry, I'd say, depending on how much you saturate it with the alcohol. But once it is completely dry, it turns out so cool. And here's what I was trying to tell you about using different colors. I tested mine on a sheet of paper beforehand. You can see that the blues and purples tend to spread out more. The inks in them just kind of go all over more so than the pinks and oranges and even the green just has like this yellow glow around it but it doesn't really spread too much. Moving on to bookmark number four, this is actually going to be a plastic bookmark so you're going to need some clear vinyl which I purchased from Walmart and I was actually coloring on this stuff for the other ones. I cut a piece of vinyl that's larger than I actually need it to be just so I have room to work with and then I took some very bright colors of Sharpie and I colored patches all over and alternated them. I put them very close together so when you do drip the alcohol on they kind of bleed into each other and swirl around. But you will see that after this dried it did not give off the effect that I wanted it to. It kind of turned into a pool of brown and it wasn't the look I was going for at all. So I did another coloring method which you can see here on the right hand side and here I put the colors much closer together and I made sure that they were only touching one to two other colors. I noticed that if you let them bleed into three or four other colors that's when the brown happens and I probably used too much alcohol on the first one as well. So just put a little bit of alcohol at a time, drip it one by one all over and then once you let it dry a little, you can go back in with more drips and just do little tiny drips over those and it'll create different effects where you see the drips overlap. Hey buddy, when Leo finds me doing my voiceover. When I created those Sharpie tie-dye shoes, this is the same sort of technique that I used on those. Make sure the ink is 100% dry before moving on to this next step. Place a piece of clear vinyl over the top of the entire image that's the same size, and then I'm taking parchment paper and ripping a piece that's twice the size so I can put it underneath and fold it over on top to form kind of like a taco. Then I'm using a hair straightener to bond all the edges together and the middle, of course, too. You wanna to press down firmly all around the edges very slowly as well and make sure that you bond all of the plastic together. And yes, this even bonds the areas with the Sharpie ink. While you're doing this, be extra careful to smooth it as much as you can because it is fairly easy to develop creases and I got a couple of those, but it didn't make it look super ugly or anything in my opinion, so I just kind of went with it. The reason that I made the blob of color bigger than I wanted it to be and not even at all is because I cut out a bookmark on a piece of paper in the size that I want it and then I put a little bit of tape there and attached it over the ink. Then I cut out around the bookmark and it is now magically the shape that I want it to be. And even after cutting the edges off, it's still completely bonded and none of the ink is going to seep out. I really like the look of this and the fact that you can see the words through it, even though of course you're not going to read with a bookmark over your page. But if a plastic bookmark isn't quite your style, then you can do a very similar effect by using paper instead. 
Bookmark number five uses the exact same method of coloring and of course applying the ink on top, a little drip here and there. But instead of putting another piece of vinyl over it, you're going to just cut out a piece of bookmark paper, watercolor paper in my case, plop it down on there and let it absorb the color. I guess this is kind of like a Sharpie water marble. And just to switch it up a bit, I used a star hole punch in the corner. Then I grabbed different colors of embroidery floss and tied those through the hole of the star. And bam, there you go. Tassel bookmark, kind of tassel. It's just little stringies hanging out. If you end up making Sharpie watercolor bookmarks or any DIY project that you have seen on my channel, even Zentangle drawings, then you can show me your creations by sharing a photo with me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook even. I'll list all of my social media links below. And remember, if you're not yet subscribed, we'd love to have you join the SoCraftastic family. All you have to do is press the red subscribe button below and also click the bell icon if you want to be notified every single time I post a video, which I think you do. I think you do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a big thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed. And let me know in the comment section below what other types of projects you want to see on my channel. If you want to follow me on the social medias, all those links are in the description box below. And don't forget to check out last week's DIY, which was vintage themed room decor. It was pretty cool. Remember, I'm posting twice a week here now. I think I'm going to choose Tuesday and Friday as my uploading days. So I will see you guys back here very soon for a new video. Bye. Oh, 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 everything fell. Hi. Wow. Leo, that's a really loud meow and I'm trying to film. I can't film. No one wants me to film. Sorry, mom. Leo. Leo, stop making noise! Oh, fill me with a cat. Goodbye.